IPXD2 line crossing detection. We're going to link it with the auto tracking master slave function. Let's get right into it. We're going to click on setup. All right, guys, just a heads up. For any of this master slave linkage stuff to work, first, you have to run the calibration process from within the PTZ menu. So make sure that you use the link located in the description of this video or located up here in the corner to go straight to that calibration video before you continue watching this one. From here, we'll go to our intelligent section. We will start with cross line. We will enable cross line. We will click settings. We'll start by clicking the plus sign next to detection rule. We'll slide over our line to where we want it. From here, we want to make sure we go into our trigger actions tab to enable master slave linkage. Master slave linkage is what we call the way that we perform auto tracking based on a fixed camera that's observing a scene and the analytics that are being triggered in that camera essentially triggering the PTZ to perform auto tracking of the object of interest. Want to go ahead and save that. From here, I'm just going to go back out to the live view. You'll see me go out there and trigger the actual analytic. So we have our line showing in the middle of the screen. Hey, and look at that. Before I even had a chance to get out there, a vehicle actually triggered it and our PTZ did follow it. And now that I have crossed the line that we created, the PTZ has followed me. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do the same thing through the recorder menu. Here we are again through an NVR, uh, through an internet browser connected to the actual NVR. We went into the VCA settings, went ahead and chose the camera that we're looking for from the drop down list. Here we have our line crossing, we enable it, we go into the settings, very similar to what we saw in the camera menu. We need to make sure we create a line first. We want to go into trigger actions and here the difference is we want to make sure that we set both channels from our PTZ camera to record. That way when we go into playback, we'll have a event that we can look for. Once we have that set again, I'll go back out to the live view and I'll just trigger it here real quick to confirm that we have it set correctly. Once I cross that line, my PTZ will start tracking me automatically. Don't forget to check out Eclipse CCTV for more info on our security systems and hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss our next video.